I've been doing some videos recently about Karl Marx and his, like aspects of his philosophy and about his economic and political um, and, and governmental um, philosophy and also the people who influenced him and also, um, you know, just kind of trying to think, to think to think about this stuff and talk about it here just hopefully, you know, maybe can see if there's anybody out there who can maybe um, criticize me or... Um, Add something to what I'm to what I'm to what I'm talking about, um, because I do this because I want input from you to hear to I guess to um, improve my own understanding of things, um, and if possible help help others who who need help who 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 need help with it and want help with it. Um, so in this video, I want to talk about uh, Ludwig Feuerbach, who uh, was a person who, along with Hegel and others influenced Marx, um, so I guess to kind of, I have, I have a couple, I have like probably two videos, which are like, two, two videos before this one, which are like probably, um, about his, um, alienation, Car uh, Karl Marx's idea of alienation or estrangement of, of labor, um, also about some of his more, you know, ba more, more, more basic stuff, um, so you can you can go to those videos. It's it's in my, it's in my social and and, pl and political theory playlist, or uh, pl or political philosophy playlist. Um, but to kind of give a little bit of a preface, what his whole thing was was that capitalism is the wrong kind of kind of government, and that because we have this cl this class struggle of the proletarian and the bourgeois, uh, the the proletarian who is basically doing the work and is basically um, producing goods and, and producing goods and, and uh, services and basically is the one who does it and gets paid by the bourgeois a minimum wage just to sort of so the uh, the uh, proletarian can can like keep his family going and basically support himself and his family while the bourgeois they own all the modes of productions. Like they own they, they own they, they own factories and they own they own they, they own everything and and any kind of surplus that that comes from that they all get um, so it's, it's almost it's kind of like a rich and poor thing but it's more complex than that um, the uh, bourgeois own everything and they're basically while well, the proletarian is basically working and you know, basically giving his labor to this and getting very, very, very little back for it, and basically almost like giving away his product to those who, who own the modes of production. In a way, he's, you know, he's, he's being alienated from himself in, in that because of what that stuff is is kind of is kind of a part of who he is, um, and that's an, on, alienation of labor, and that's it's a alienation or estrangement from, from, from himself. So, hopefully you can kind of, in a brief, very, very, very brief way, explain, you know, I kind of, kind of get how that, how that, how that whole thing works. This is this, what, here, this was not a very good explanation of it, and I have a better one elsewhere, or you can go to other places, places online, or on, or on YouTube. Um, personally, I think, I think that, uh, Chad African has a couple has a couple of really really good videos on uh, Marx and his and his and his uh, followers. So it's this concept of alienation that I'm kind of thinking about here because Feuerbach is a, a lot of what of what influenced that, and I'm gonna explain why Feuerbach has, 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 has he kind of wrote, wrote he wrote a book that's called the Essence of Christianity, and he kind of talked about how. Religion is the dream of the human mind, um, where man kind of, kind of creates this god that's not really real, and um, kind of makes this god um, some of the sort of um, kind of corresponds to what a human wants and needs in his, in his life, um, and kind of this this god is kind of corresponds to the human human uh, what what human experience is and what the human needs um, the needs of human nature basically um, 
So we basically set up this god, and we kind of, it's an illusion that we've set up for for ourselves, for for our own purposes. Um, so since we are basically, you know, the the the, the Christians actually kind of um, searching after this sort of god and tor tor sort of trying to prove it and trying to, um, you know, live their life through that, um, you know, that's kind of, or almost like a, it's like just like a, a setup thought that is just by their own needs and really doesn't, according to Feuerbach, doesn't really have any other um, relation elsewhere other than of what human needs are and what and, and what we think about what God should be. Um, so in a way, for, for uh, Feuerbach, that's alienating us from ourselves because we're after this sort of illusory thing. Um, we are alienated from ourselves due to this God. We are kind of trying to go after this God so much that we are, that we are, we are alienating ourselves from our true selves. Um, you know, Hegel, who was, who was somebody else who did influence Marx, um, Hegel was a idealist, while Feuerbach was a materialist. Now, what a materialist is, in this sense, is um, we're going to try and look at look at human at, at at human nature and society the way it actually is, and think about it that way. Um, so, Feuerbach talking about how this illusory god that we set up for ourselves based upon what humans need and what human nature is. We kind of are after this sort of illusory thing, and that alienates us from who we who we truly are. Um, now, what Marx does, Marx takes that that same concept of being alienated from yourself, and, and talks about how we are um, we are we are alienated by by we are alienated from ourselves by by money or commodity or capital. And based upon the, based upon the dominant ideology, and based upon what the the bourgeois are doing, based upon that, um, and this based upon this whole structure of capitalism and how and how the proletarian is exploited, um, in that way, the proletarian is alienated from 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 himself. So, that's kind of. Um, a little bit of a brief talking about about talk about how Feuerbach is related to Marx um, and how Feuerbach influenced Marx um, and kind of the whole concept of alienation or estrangement kind of did a part partly come from um, the idea of how Hegel was kind of after living living in sort of this abstract ideal ideal world and then people after Hegel kind of thought about Hegel as um, kind of attributing this sort of alienation to Hegel um, about how being after that whole ideal world thing. Personally, I've seen the whole alienation thing come more from, from Feuerbach, but that's, um, you know, pretty much what I've been thinking about here. Um, if you think I've left something out or, you know, have not um, explained something correctly please please comment below I'd love to hear from you um, also if you have a, if you have a question also come, also come, come, come below because whenever you comment I get a email and if it's a constructive comment then I will always I will always re I will always respond so um, I do this because I want to help myself because I want input from you to kind of help me in my understanding um, I, I I mean I have read Marx and I've read Feuerbach and I've read Hegel. Um, however, that's not the only thing that one can do, which entails understanding. You know, and I've been taught I've been taught these these figures before as well. But that also doesn't mean that I totally understand it. So I can use any kind of any kind of input from you. Um, and uh, thank you.